So I just got stopped by the police. 28 kilometers to Arad, Romania, and six to the Batania border crossing. I don't think that the uh, hitchhiking is gonna work. That guy gives to the other guy like five or six bills. Look like. Hi there, good morning. This is Mako in southern Hungary, very close to the border of Romania. This is the thermal bath complex, which is the reason that I came here to begin with. I experienced it yesterday. Pools and uh, saunas, very interesting experience, but did not film it, didn't want to uh, bring a camera in there. So today is border crossing day. My hotel that you saw at the beginning there, right there. Glorious, grand hotel. It must be the nicest hotel in town. So if you saw the last video in which I had a room for 30 bucks, then they were full up last night and I wanted to stay one more night and so I had to look around for another uh, place to stay. Decided to splurge also being in the center of town and right next to the thermal baths. But today is leaving Hungary day. The uh, border of Romania is very close. You could literally walk over to it but that is not the way to go as far as crossing the border. I'm going today to Arad in Romania. It is only, I forget, hour and a half, two hours drive away, something like that. There are actually two border crossing options. Basically, in the course of research, figured out the best way to do this, I hope, because this kind of stuff can be tricky to figure out you know, looking online, border crossing, Romania, Hungary, and then you find all kinds of uh, different experiences and there are different border crossings. And then there's the issue of, are there border crossings that more local people can go across, but not people from outside of, you know, the Euro zone, the EU, or if you aren't a Romanian or Hungarian citizen or whatever. So it is far from certain what is going to happen today. But in short, then I figured out that uh, there is this uh, town of Batania close to the border that is a little bit further away from the other border option. And so that gets me closer to where I'm going before I cross the border. And then once I cross the border, it is a short distance into Arad. So there's a bus going at 12 noon. It is about 10.30. So I have an hour and a half to uh, cruise around uh, Mako here and also get some more uh, breakfast items. So I'm walking over to the market that I showed in the other video and uh, get a couple things to snack on and then wander over to the bus station. So I currently have 6,000 Hungarian 
foreign on me, that is about 15 euros or $17 US. That is just what I have left having withdrawn some cash a few days ago. That seems about right to make things happen as far as just getting to the border of Romania. The bus will be three, four dollars, something like that. And then from the little town of Batania, I then have to get to the actual border, which is a few miles away, it looks like. So we'll see if it is walkable or otherwise catch a taxi. I haven't taken a taxi yet in Hungary, but I would imagine they are pretty cheap. And so the leftover 12, 13 dollars or so that I will have in the local forent should be enough to get me to the border, I hope. I'm not 100% certain I can even cross this border here. I think probably. It looks like the major route going into Irad. So that should be fine. But then I will just be walking over the border and then from there, I don't know how I'm getting into the city of Arad, which is maybe 30, 40 minutes away or something. So I have no idea on that one. If it's going to be a bus ride, you know, a bus just sitting there, that seems kind of unlikely. So then it's a matter of a taxi. And is a taxi gonna be sitting there waiting? No idea. Might have to make use of the phone. There's no way to figure that one out. So uh, here we go, just gonna do it. No rollerblading, no scooters, no biking, no motorbiking, no high heels, and just don't, just don't do it, whatever it is, I guess. I guess it's saying this is a running path, not a biking or model runway. So uh, anyways, got uh, the usual stuff for breakfast here. Yogurts, salami, cheese, crackers, cookies. And I'm back at the bus station where I was two days ago for my adventure too. The town with the cool name. Hadmazo Vasarhale, something like that. Except that is totally wrong. All right, so uh, let's find the right number here where buses will be leaving for Batania. Wrong direction, Zeged. Batania? 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 Batania. Kushanam. Okay, we got confirmation. Okay, so, uh, got an hour to kill here. And here we go. Right on time. So I now have 4,465 Hungarian forint left. That is equal to $12.80, 11.60 euros. Hopefully that is going to do the trick, get me to the corner. So here is the uh, drive to Batania. 43 minutes. We'll see how long the bus takes. Looks like we're pretty much going straight there. No stop so far. 26 minutes away. A bumpy road. One lane, it seems. Narrow little road through the fields. So 16 minutes to go to get to Batania, and I have something ready to go here. 
I want to go to the border of Romania. How much will it cost? El akarok menni Románia határához. Mennyibe fog kerülni? We'll see what happens. Welcome to Batania. Where I do not see any taxis hanging around. It probably does not help that it's a Sunday. Okay, this is where things get a little bit interesting. So one of the things that I was going to inquire about here was the possibility of buses going to Arad. I thought that that was unlikely and that uh, doesn't seem to be happening. No buses other than that one sitting around. So it uh, looks like that's going back towards Zheged, the uh, Zheged, the uh, larger city past Mekko, where I started. The border is about six miles or so away. I mean, I could walk it. That's an option, but uh, especially with all my stuff, that is definitely not ideal. I bet I'll be able to find a taxi around here somewhere. Seems like we're kind of somewhere on the edge of town, maybe in the center, there's a taxi. Gotta be. There goes the bus. Look at this, 1956. Deep in the communist era. Huge uh, church here. So, Arad is 35 minutes or 28 kilometers away. Definitely not walking all the way there. The border is there. Looks like about a quarter of that. So, seven or so kilometers, which is like four miles. Now, there is another option. And that is to hitchhike. Maybe a combination of walking and hitchhiking if I don't uh, find a taxi, which is definitely seeming less likely with how quiet it is, but uh, seems like there's more people down here. <laughs> But uh, let's see on the map which way I should go if I'm going to start walking it. Yeah, it's straight ahead. Let's go with that. Just start walking that direction. And uh, so I inquired about uh, the possibility of buses going, you know, across the border straight there. And there was actually a Flix bus but it went from Zeged and it left at 6 p.m. today. So that would have required taking the bus back to Zeged, which no big deal there. But uh, it was more the waiting around until 6 p.m. part that uh, made me decide to skip that and just go for this route. We'll see if that was a good idea or not. So, up ahead is the main road. You can see a lot more traffic going along. And to the right, Turnu border crossing, six kilometers, that is four miles. Hour and 12 minute walk. It is a warm day, but not a crazy hot day. 84 degrees Fahrenheit, that is 29 degrees Celsius. So. If nothing else happens, I can walk it. But uh, 
pretty good chance I'll get a ride. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be hitching it, it looks like. So I just got stopped by the police. All went well, fortunately. I was uh, walking along, just finishing filming that clip, and uh, looked back, saw what looked like a police car, put the camera away, continued walking, hoping they would just cruise by, but uh, they pulled over, asked for my passport, checked uh, whatever the number or something, and then handed it back and said, a rod, 25 kilometers. I was kind of hoping they were going to give me a ride to the border at the same time that I was hoping they weren't because uh, that would be a little bit of a nervous ride, but at least that was a short, quick, eventless encounter. And they didn't say you can't go. Like, they didn't say not allowed to cross there or something like that because that is one of my concerns is even though it is a border crossing the possibility that it might be a limited border crossing in which meow, only you know hungarians and romanians or maybe eu citizens or something could cross but uh they didn't mention anything along those lines so that might be some good news 28 kilometers to Arad, Romania, and 6 to the Batania, or I guess also called Turnu, border crossing. But here it says not Batania. I guess it's the Batania Turnu crossing. Maybe Turnu is the town on the other side in Romania. I've been hitching, but uh, no luck so far. Four kilometers or 48 minutes of walking still to go, and it's kind of raining, sprinkling a little bit. Man, that's a crazy farm machine there. Quick update. 2.6 kilometers or 32 minute walk still to go, so basically I am about two-thirds of the way there. So, it is looking promising that I will get there. But then, of course, it's a lot farther to a rod, so that's going to be a whole other conundrum. One point eight kilometers still to go to the border. There is some good news, which is that the town of Turno is in fact in Romania, and it is just other side of the border, closer than Batania there. Looks like about maybe another two kilometers past the border. So I don't think that the uh, hitchhiking is going to work. Definitely not getting the vibe that... Uh, People are picking up hitchhikers around here. So uh, that is probably gonna be my best uh, bet is walk to Turnu and then from there, good chance that there will be buses going from there to Arad. Or a taxi. Arad, you, Arad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Well, that was freaking awesome. Welcome to Arad, Romania. So I didn't want to uh, film much in the uh, car there and make them feel suspicious or like, what is with this guy with the camera or whatever. It's about 45 minutes later or so. And as you can see, things worked out very smoothly. So there was a whole kind of interesting series of events there. We got to the border really quick. It was actually a little bit closer than I thought. 
the uh, line was only like 10, 12 cars or something. Took less than 10 minutes, I would say. And then I got up to the booth and the lady comes over, takes passports, looks at me suspiciously, like they obviously don't see a lot of Americans coming through there. And uh, keeps kind of looking at me and stuff and then takes my passport and there, they just had ID cards. I assume that they were Romanian. Their license plate had RO on it. So um, they take the uh, passport and then she comes back and she's talking with them, probably saying, who's this guy? Where did you pick him up? And I guess they just said, we just picked him up like two minutes that way. And uh, so it all worked out. She uh, stamped the passport and then boom, this is where I'm staying tonight. Looks very nice, new building. I'm not sure how far I am from the uh, center of the city, but uh, there's a whole city center. It's like classic European square and everything. So uh, she takes my passport and instead of giving it back to me while I'm sitting in the car, she takes it 10 feet away up this way and gives it to somebody else in another booth. And so I think that what happened there was, and this would be like the first time it has ever been like this is the Hungarian border crossing exiting Hungary and then 10 feet later the Romanian entering Romania crossing and so they just hand the passport over. Usually it is like a walk and it can be a ways. Like when I cross from Croatia into Serbia it was a long like two mile walk over a bridge and then you get to the next uh, entry point. But uh, I saw two stamps there, so I think that I'm good. And so then we uh, keep on going and they're going to Arad, so that is great. And then she basically asked me like, where are you going in Arad? They spoke absolutely zero English. And so I pull out my phone and get the email for this place and show it to her. She's trying to look at it and she can't uh, read it. It is just like too small a print. But then she pulls out this like little reed basket thing from the floor of the car with random stuff in it and then pulls out, I can't say a pair of glasses because it was only one eye. It was like glasses that had been cut in half, broken. And so it has just like the one glass and then the whatever you call it that goes along the uh, ear there. And so she holds that up to her eye and then looks at the email and then she can read it and she says to the guy driving the uh, name of the street and they're like, oh, okay, good, good. And so then they know where we're going. And so we then uh, continue driving. It was a very short drive, like 15-ish minutes. And then I can see where I am on the map and they take a right turn where it should have been left. And so I kind of said to them, like, it's that way. And they said something and it became clear that they were just making a stop. And so we stop at this uh, apartment complex and he makes a phone call and then talks with a guy. And then the guy comes out and opens up the door. I think that he's going to get in, but then he doesn't because uh, there was nobody in the front seat. And then that guy gives to the other guy like five or six bills. Look like... Good thing I'm not walking right now. Another 15, 20 kilometers. So uh, that guy gives the driver some money and then the driver gets out and goes to the back and then something happens and then he gets back in the car and then the other guy waves goodbye. And then as the other guy is going back into the apartment complex, I see him carrying a bag of fish, which I think that he didn't have before. Like only like this big with like 10 fish, like this big, something like that. And it's kind of dripping with water a little bit. So I guess they just made a fish delivery. <laughs> And then uh, they got me over here and I tried to give them the rest of my Hungarian forint because I still had the 4,000 something. I wanted to keep the coins, but uh, give them the cash for 1,000 forint bills and they wouldn't accept it. So now I have uh, some Hungarian money that I'll have to cash somewhere. Okay, let's check out the room. So this place is really nice. It's like brand new. Quite a contrast from uh, the other buildings nearby. And look what's happening out there. It is now raining pretty good. I'm glad that I'm not out there walking along the road. For one thing, when we went through Ternu, there was not much there. I don't think that there would have been buses going 
from there. So I would have been maybe calling a taxi or something or trying the hitchhiking or who knows. But uh, that was a real godsend. Pretty much story of my life right there. Like that's exactly the same situation I've been in so many times and it always pulls through. So, you know, I figured something would work out. And so this place is 297 Romanian lei. That is 23,000 Hungarian forint, 5150 British pounds, 8760 Canadian dollars, 66 bucks US or 60 euros. So uh, not especially cheap, but uh, it is a nice uh, place here. They even have a pool, which I very likely won't end up using. But uh, anyways, going to chill here for a few minutes and then get out there and go see a little bit of Dara, Rada, Arda, where the heck are we? Arda, Dara, it's like those exact letters. Rada, Arad. <laughs> I had the right four letters. But uh, anyways, I'm not sure how far it is to the city center, but shouldn't be too far. Despite the uh, rain, I'm curious to see it, and I'm only here for one night, so want to get out there and uh, see a little bit of the city. I knew, having looked online, that it didn't look as amazing as Timmy Shuara, and so that is why I booked just uh, one night here. And then tomorrow I'll get to Timmy Shuara, probably lots of buses going, and I'm there for four nights. So lots more coming from Romania, but uh, for now, let's get out of here, go see Arad. And look what's happening now, it is just pouring down. I lucked out so hardcore to not be out there still, so uh, the uh, tour of the city might have to wait a little bit. Get some work done here, and I'll see about heading out later. It is getting close to five, but uh, yeah, no point in trying to film anything out there as it is. That is the hardest rain that I've seen in quite a while. Man, just slip through by the skin of my teeth, so to speak. And one thing that I wanted to mention here, my list of countries that I have hitchhiked in just got a little longer. So you can see United States, Canada, United Kingdom, Ireland, France, Greece, Switzerland, Austria, Albania, India, Thailand, Mexico, Myanmar, Guatemala, Andorra, Nepal, Croatia, Italy, Morocco, and now... Hungary and Romania. I know it was a short little ride. It was literally, I think, less than a kilometer in Hungary from when they picked me up to getting to the border. But I was standing there hitchhiking in Hungary, got the ride, and then border crossing, and then whatever, 15, 20 minutes of uh, driving in Romania. I'm going to say that that counts. So uh, 21 countries hitchhiked in around the world and... As far as states in the U.S., so I've been to 20 states total, so still have a lot to see, 30 more, of course, but uh, 16 of them I have hitchhiked in. All right, weather's looking a little bit better, but uh, still raining, not good for walking or filming. We'll see about in an hour or two, but... Uh, this could just be the end of the video. Might just get uh, busy here, working away and get into it, try to get this one done. We'll see, but uh, if so, lots more coming from Romania.